In this lecture, we talk about cohomology ring of surfaces. So in the lecture on cup product, we talked about how cup product naturally introduces a graded ring structure. And here we are going to compute certain things. So first, uh, see this map. So A is included in B, and then you compress A to a point. So you have this inclusion map, and this will introduce the ring map. So this is contravariance. Now the arrow goes from A to B, then the cohomology ring arrow goes in the opposite direction. And then B to B relative to A. So you have the arrow now in the opposite direction here, B comma A, that's B relative to A to B. So obviously the contravariance emerges because of the home functor. So now let us do the first example. So say there is a space B. And the space B is covered by these sets AI. Each of the set is contractible. Each AI is contractible. And then you will have a long exact sequence like this. H, K, I, B, comma, A. This AI and then H, K, I, B to H, K, I, A, I. That is for each AI you are constructing a sequence like this. So this I corresponds to this I right here. Now this is contractible, so this is homotopically equivalent to a point. So this cohomology groups become zero. So you have a surjective map right here. So if you have some beta i here, this is going to correspond to alpha i here, or this alpha i gets lifted to this beta i here. So what we want to do is we want to find the cohomology ring structure on B. So on this space B, we want to find the cohomology ring structure given that it is a union of some contractible spaces. So we want to find alpha 1 cup alpha 2 all the way. So you have the surjective map because this is 0. So for i equals to 1 to n, you take a cup product in this space. You have beta 1 cup with beta 2 all the way to cup with beta n. So this will be element of the space cohomology ring h star b and then union this because you have taken all the uh, beta. So beta i corresponds to a i. So beta 1 corresponds to a 1, beta 2 corresponds to a 2, beta 3 corresponds to a 3, beta n corresponds to a n. Taken the cup product that will lie in this cohomology ring. Now this is nothing but b comma b because this union is also b. So this will be 0. So cup product here is 0. So you take the cup product of, of all the beta i's it will be 0. So since you have this surjective map right here, the cup product of all the alphas will also be zero. So if you take cup product of alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, all the way to alpha n, it will be zero because B is covered with n contractible spaces. So this was one example. So if your space B is covered with n contractible cells or spaces, then you have the cup product will behave like this. Alpha 1 cup alpha 2 all the way to alpha n, which is the size of the uh, cover. And this will be equal to 0. Now consider another situation. A is a retract of B again. Uh, so now you have this map. A is included in B. And then B retracts to A. So this is an inclusion map. This is a retract map. So this will introduce another map in the opposite direction in the cohomology ring situation. You will have maps from H star of A going to H star of B. So H star of A going to H star of B, this map is R star. And then from H star of B, you have a map going to H star of A that is i star. So you have r star and i star. So these are the maps we write here. i star is here, h star b to h star a. Contravariance to this, r star is this map, h star a to h star b. Now we use an algebraic fact that, uh, you know, if you have a map like this, from e to h to e, so just like this map. So here, uh, f is r star so this you th can think of as f and uh, this g you can think of as i star so if you have a map like this with gf is equal to identity on e so you first apply f and then you apply g you have identity on e 
same will hold here then h you can write as image of f direct sum with kernel of g so here f is corresponding to r star so you have image of f will be image of r star and kernel of g is uh, g is corresponds to i star is kernel of i star so if you have the space like this where, where a is a retract of b so you have this inclusion map and then you have this retract then the cohomology ring on d can be written like this So this is important. You have a space A which is included in the space P and then you have a retract. Then you have the cohomology ring of B like this. So notice that this I star of alpha 1 cup alpha 2 this comes out like this. And uh, if this part is 0, so cup product acts like multiplication. So if this part is 0 or this part is 0 this is 0 or this is 0 so this will act like multiplication so then this will be 0 then i star alpha 1 cup alpha 2 is 0 so since if either of either is 0 then both of them uh, taken together become 0 that means kernel of i star is an ideal so this because this acts like multiplication you know if one of them is in the kernel that will make the other one also lie in the kernel so this kernel of i star is an ideal so because we are talking about cohomology rings and again you know r star will come out as r star alpha 1 cup r star alpha 2 so image of r star is a sub ring now this is important because this will give us uh, ways and means to compute further things so for example you have this wedge product uh, so this this is a property of cohomology so hi a wedge with B is this direct product and you have natural retractions this and this so A wedge with B to A and A wedge with B to B so this imply H star A and H star B are ideals in H star this A wedge with B because you see this I star here which is the kernel this is the ideal and we have these map a wedge with b going to a this is going to introduce uh, maps which will make h star a into an ideal and this will introduce map which will make h star b into an ideal because again it's the same which situation you know instead of b we have a wedge b and instead of a we just keep a uh, in the second case this so these two are ideals in this ring so you have a1 plus b1 cup with a2 plus b2 so we are talking about multiplication in this ring now so this is how uh, it is going to look like you know this there's a direct product here which I'm writing as plus so this you want to do you cup with a2 b2 you will have a1 cup a2 then direct sum b1 cup b2 and this thing is not going to happen a1 cup with b2 this will lie in the intersection of these two ideals and which will be zero so you don't have to worry about a1 cup b2 so this is a good way to think about the cohomology ring of h star a wedge with b this will be just like this for each uh, graded piece and the cup product act like, acts like this so a1 plus b1 cup with a2 plus b2 is a1 cup a2 plus b1 cup b2 now this we can immediately use so notice that h star sn has trivial multiplication because the cohomology groups exist only in dimension 0 and n so if you take cup product of n with n itself then that will land in 2n and uh, uh, the 2n cohomology group is 0 so there is nothing you can do here so the multiplication in sn is trivial and therefore the multiplication in this group is also trivial because you're going to take direct sum like this and in each of the individual components so see here you're working in individual component this a1 cup a2 essentially lies in h star a and b1 cup b2 lies in h star b you're working in individual components so here you're going to work in individual components and for individual components there is trivial multiplication 
So for SM there will be trivial multiplication, SN will be trivial multiplication, SN plus M would be trivial multiplication because each of them is going to act like the sphere. So this multiplication is trivial. On the other hand, multiplication is non-trivial in H star SN times SM. So you know you can take alpha to be in HM SM and beta to be in HN S N because these will be non-trivial and if you take their cup product that will be generator of this H N plus M S N times S M. So this is non-trivial because there is a product here. So you have this as non-trivial. But notice that this, this space, it compute its homology and cohomology groups and for this space, compute its homology and cohomology groups. So homology and cohomology groups of these two spaces coincide. But the ring structure on them is completely different. So multiplication is trivial here and multiplication is non-trivial here. So thus these two spaces are different. So they are not homotopic. So homology and cohomology groups could not distinguish the spaces. But the cohomology ring has been able to distinguish between the two spaces. So all these examples are being taken from this book Elements of Homology Theory uh, by V. V. Prasolov. Uh, this can be found on page 64 of the book. So this book has a large number of examples which mostly come in the problems but then the book also gives a solution to the problems at the back of it. So you need to go through this book if you want to see more examples. There are a large number of examples on retracts also in that space where um, they show that one space is not a retract of other space by just using this formula.